So in this video, I want to be talking to you about meal timing. Now, meal timing can play an important part in the role of fat loss, but it won't be the main component when it comes to fat loss. Okay, now let me break this down. Now, there is no perfect time or there's no set in time that you're going to be able to eat foods that's going to store into your body as body fat or there's no perfect time for you to eat foods and it's just going to be used as body fat. It doesn't work like that. Okay, so people the, the myth is gone now that you know you can't eat after 6 p.m. or carbs are bad after after you know after dark um, eating dessert things like that and you and people used to think that if they were eating something before they go to bed and then they go and sleep then it's just going to sit in their system and then it's not going to be used as energy and they're going to store it as body fat but it actually doesn't work like that okay so you already now know that in each day and also a week, you have a certain amount of calories to spend like a budget. Now let's say for instance, you have a weekly budget of $1,000. It is up to you how you want to spend that $1,000, but that's all you've got. You have, to make sure, you have to make sure that you're eating or you're spending that $1,000 throughout the week. You can't go over that. And it's the same thing with your calories as well. If we know that we're at a dieting phase, we know we have a certain amount of calories to spend in a week, which is broken down into each day. So if we go into the day, we know we have a certain amount of money or calories to be able to spend in that day. It doesn't matter how you spend it or where you want to spend it, as long as it's spent and nothing is over then, then that, then that's fine. And this is so for instance, if we are having like a dessert, something that we you know look to enjoy, then we can't worry too much about you know eating something that's going to be storing this body fat because it's absolutely incorrect okay so if you would like to have dessert uh, then go for it it's definitely not going to be stored as body fat now they also say that you know breakfast is the most important part of the important most important meal of the day now not necessarily like if you prefer to eat breakfast i know a lot of people a lot of my clients that they don't prefer to eat breakfast if they're just they're too busy which is fine as well so it's completely up to you if you want to have a breakfast or if you don't want to have breakfast. It depends on where you want to spend your calories, okay? So another thing is it's like it's called intermittent fasting. And it's something that I like to do, especially when my calories are down low. And intermittent fasting is basically you have a 24-hour window. All we're doing is cutting the window shorter to have, still have the same amount of food in, uh, in the day. But we're just putting it into a smaller window. Now, there's no magic to it there's no secrets or anything like that because you're still eating the, set, the same amount of calories as you did if you weren't doing intermittent fasting all we're doing is just not eating in a certain time frame it doesn't matter it's not you're not burning extra calories or anything like that okay we're just eating the same amount of food in a smaller window now some people like that i like that because my days are pretty busy so i don't mind missing the first part of the day of eating because i am busy which means then my window of eating is smaller which means i can have more food in that window instead of trying to spread it throughout the day so i enjoy that i like the full feeling so i will make it all into a smaller window um, so sometimes i do miss out on breakfast and i can go probably like 11 to 12 o'clock where i won't even have anything to eat just yet uh, and I'm fine with that, that's cool. So then the other thing as well is that meal timing can play an important role in our journey because we need to make sure that we are fueling ourselves for our training, right? So you have to think about that, that training is a performance. So we need to make sure that we are constantly performing in the gym. Now, if we're not eating before we train, our performance is gonna go downhill. Now, I'm sure you've actually had, like, had a feeling before of, what it's like to come into the gym and train when you haven't had anything in your system. You feel so flat and lethargic, you don't feel motivated, your energy intensity is, is not high as well, so you're not gonna get the most out of your training. So we need to make sure that we are eating for our performance. So I do recommend you're eating roughly 30, about 30 to 40% of your daily carbs around your training and mainly before your training, okay? So carbohydrates is energy. So if we're having something that's carby 
into our system. It can be stored, it can be used as glycogen and then used as energy straight away. So we're looking at fast acting carbohydrates. Something as easy as like as simple as a banana would be fine. Um, so like if there's certain bars, you know, like you like a little bit of an energy bar, then have that. Uh, a little bit of cereal. Um, some people like lollies as well. You know, it's all fast acting carbohydrates. Um, and it has been found to uh, improve people's uh, performance in the gym. So I would definitely look at trying to find foods that you can eat for your performance. So this is something that I, it's like, I don't rely on pre-workouts because I don't need it because I'm eating something before I train. And it is a daily habit now that before I train, about half an hour to 40 minutes before I train, I will eat something substantial and maybe it's something like a bowl of oats or for me right now, I'm having like a little bit of bowl of cereal, but something like that, that gives me the energy and the pick up so then I can train at a good intensity level. But if I'm not eating that, I'm gonna be flat. And if I'm feeling flat, I'm not gonna get most out of my workout. My training progression, my training volume, my intensities, everything's gonna go down. So, and if I'm going down in training, I'm not gonna be getting the results that I'm after. So you need to make sure that you're fueling yourselves for your training performance. Now, the other part that I wanna to talk to you about is the protein. So protein is obviously really, really important with muscle recovery and also helping build muscle. Um, and we wanna try and maintain as much muscle as possible, especially when we're in a dieting phase. So I would recommend you guys trying to spread your protein throughout the day. Maybe it's 25 to 40 grams per meal each day. And we're trying to like, if we're eating like roughly like three to four meals per day, then we can have that 25 to 40 grams of, of uh, protein spread out evenly throughout the rest of the day. That's where you get the most amount of results um, and the maximum benefits of having the protein intake. Then the last part is that I just wanna talk about with the protein is that making sure that you're eating in that window of around the, the training to get the max amount of results um, for that the protein muscle synthesis. So it's a, something that's gonna be helping repair and give our, our bodies like putting it into our system. So basically we wanna make sure that we're eating on roughly two hours of either side of the window when you'll be fine, okay? So let's say for instance, you're coming into the gym and training around five o'clock. When you go home and then you have having your dinner, like you're gonna have something in protein, I hope, uh, something that's substantial in protein for dinner, then that's gonna be sweet. That can be your post-workout meal. But you don't need like immediately a post-workout shake, 15 minutes before a session, or after a session, got to slam something down. You don't need to do that, but if making sure that we do eat roughly about two hours on either side of the window and you're gonna be fine. So please don't look into it too much. There's not really anything about meal timing. As long as we're eating something for performance, you know, you can spread out your food however you want, because at the end of the day, it's consistency. All you need to do is making sure that you hit your daily calories by the end of the day. That's really it, okay? Anyway, I hope that helps. I'll talk to you soon.